Now, your news on the go. Our developing story out of the west side of Syracuse tops our news on the go this morning. And here's what we know. A man is dead after being shot by a Syracuse police officer. And a six-year-old boy is in critical condition after being shot prior to officers arriving to that scene. Now, this happened around 8 o'clock last night on Fenton Street. That's near Delaware Academy. When officers arrived, they found a man who they say was armed. And that's when they shot him. The six-year-old boy is in critical condition. And we're following breaking news out of Buffalo. The Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Buffalo has resigned following widespread criticism over how he handled allegations of clergy sexual misconduct. Pope Francis accepting Bishop Richard Malone's resignation today and the Bishop of, of Albany, Edward Scharfenberger, is now replacing him until a permanent replacement is found. An Auburn man is charged with drunk driving after he crashed his car into the back of a Union Springs school bus yesterday morning. The sheriff arrested 29-year-old David John Paul Bassett at the scene. This happened along routes 5 and 20 in Aurelius. None of the students were hurt. Well, less than two weeks after a string of racist and anti-Semitic incidents shook Syracuse University's campus, the community is seeking peace. Organizers are holding a community peace vigil on the steps of Hendricks Chapel, that'll be this afternoon, to provide hope and healing. Now, there will be a candle lighting and a musical performance, followed by a time for conversation and community building inside the chapel. Again, that vigil starts at 4.30. Student staff and local community are encouraged to attend. And in Washington today, the debate ratchets up over whether President Trump should be impeached. The House Judiciary Committee will hold hearings today to talk about the constitutional grounds for drafting articles of impeachment. This comes one day after the House impeachment report said President Trump seriously misused the power of his office for personal political gain.